Hi and welcome to vlog number nine, me learning to play the harp. And the harp that I'm learning to play on is this lever harp uh, made by Harpsicle in America. This is called a Sharpsicle. Uh, at the moment, I'm only playing one tune that I'm using a lever on and that is the um, Fisherman's Song to Attract the Seals. Uh, but what I'm gonna do today, I'm gonna go through an arrangement that I've made of the uh, lovely old tune Drink to Me Only. And I was learning this from Sylvia Wood's book and in my very arrogant way I decided to try and uh, improve it. Uh, I'm not sure if I have but I've made the bass a bit more interesting, put a bit more harmony in so if you're a beginner like me you might find this, um, might find this useful. Uh, first of all a disclaimer, I'm not a harp expert, I've only been playing a few weeks. Okay so this is a kind of tutorial but please bear in mind that I'm a novice so uh, um, you know, take what I say with a pinch of salt. If you like my arrangement, uh, let me know and I can send you the dots for it. This is definitely one instrument where knowing how to read music can really help you. So if you don't know how to read music, on my website and the uh, address is on your screen now, uh, you can find um, a link to a section where you can download uh, some theory sheets, how, how to learn to read music and uh, that will help you with lots of instruments, and particularly this one. So Drink To Me Only, uh, it's in the key of C major, the, the way I'm doing it, and it goes like this. So as you can hear and as you can see, I'm, I'm not a very good player yet. I'm still in my novice stage, but I managed to get through the tune without any mistakes. I'm kind of sacrificing my technique uh, just to play the notes accurately. Uh, my fingers aren't low enough, my thumbs aren't high enough. There's a lot of problems, but basically the arrangement's there and I think you can hear that once you know, I improve as a player that will sound quite nice. So I'm gonna go through it and the things that I've discovered as I've been making this arrangement. So first of all, when I start playing, uh, I make sure that my both my hands are placed, as they say. So for the right hand, um, it means fingers three, two, and one. Don't forget the thumb is kind of finger one, if you like. Uh, they're on these three notes here, E, F, and G. Up here, so it's the E above middle C. On this particular harp, it goes down to the C below middle C, so it's actually on the first four strings. So finger four is on the C, uh, finger three is on the D, finger two is on the E, and finger one, the thumb, is on the F. So I'm kind of there to start with for that first section. So the left hand is running up slowly in dotted minimums because it's three beats of the bar. So it's one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. While the right hand is obviously a lot busier. Um, so down and up there, and then on the last part of this bit, we have this. Now quite a nice little harmony in there. Um, I'm dropping from G to C, and then running down F, E, D, C, so. Now as far as the left hand is concerned there, um, I'm playing a C, and then I'm playing a run down A, G, F, E, which is a lovely harmony to this um, F, E, D, C in the right hand. And then I 
just finish off that section with two left hand notes, a G and a C. And then of course I've got to get ready, got to place for the repeat of that. So, so what I do is once I've played that bottom C, I just touch it again with my finger before I place for the repeat. See? So like that. And repeat. The coloured strings really help me. I know that when I place for the right hand to start with, I'm one below the blue string, so I'm on E, F and G. Okay, that really helps. One lower than the blue I've written on my, my uh, sheet of instructions here. So once you've played the middle C with the right hand on that first bit, once I've done that, I've then placed for the run down and the harmony run down the left hand. Bar nine is the second time ending. Uh, so the right hand, you've just gone. Um, you then come up for this kind of stretchy bit and it's the, the string above the blue. It's the G for this section here. And then uh, finger three is going to play the note, the string the other side of the blue, which is the E. And then the thumb is ready on that red C, the C above middle C. All of that is in one area. It's just C, C, E, E, like that. Okay, so. Now, at this point, you're going to play um, an F in the left hand. In fact, you're going to have your uh, thumb, first, second, third, ready on these bottom four strings, ready to run down. The right hand, so you play the A with the thumb, then you play the G with uh, finger two, and then you change and play the same string with your thumb, so you can run down to that last part of the kind of B section. And as you do that, you've got a nice harmony there with the left hand and then another harmony there. You have a D in the right hand and you have um, a G with the left hand. So let's play that second section for you slowly. And then you repeat um, the first section. Obviously, once you've played um, bar 18, you're going to play page 3, which is essentially the same as page 1. So you have to, to place all your fingers to start with. Uh. Now, one thing I found with this was that I learned it and I was playing it quite quickly. And I thought, oh, I'll play it better if I slow it down. But actually, I didn't. I found that playing it very slowly, I had almost too much time to think. So, yeah, obviously, you've got to play it slowly when you're learning it. But... Um, I'm probably playing it a little bit faster than it's written. I mean, kind of written, I guess it's... Uh, like that, which feels way too slow for me. So things I'm doing wrong, like I've said earlier, fingers aren't low enough, thumbs aren't high enough, and I'm getting buzzing. Uh, the curse of the harpist, I've found, where you've played a string, it's still vibrating, you go to play it again and you get that horrid buzz and you can um, help yourself by muting like I showed you earlier but you know sometimes you, you don't get time to mute so you just have to pluck the string positively without this kind of half-hearted dithering which does tend to cause buzzing. Also you've got to keep your nails really short. Um, I'm cutting mine more often uh, than I used to when I was a guitarist. Well, I still am a guitarist but you know what I mean. Um, I should have cut them before I did this video. They're not helping particularly. But it is a lovely tune drink to me. I mean, I've always loved this uh, since I was a child. And it does lend itself to the harp really well. 
and hopefully I've brought something a little bit new to the table. Let me know what you think. Um, if you like this video, uh, press the like, and if you enjoy my videos, do press the subscribe button. Anyway, uh, that's the end of vlog number nine, and thank you very much for watching.